um, in today's video we are going to learn about a new topic knapsack problem uh, using the concept of greedy method in the subject of algorithms basically you have already learned about this knapsack problem previously if i'm not wrong uh, you did it in dynamic programming you saw it in branch and bound so similar concept you will be doing here but this is a just a knapsack problem it is not zero by one knapsack problem so i'll tell you what is the difference if it is a zero by one knapsack problem you can either take it full i mean you have to take the entire object or you have to not take it at all okay but for this knapsack the advantage is you can take fractions fractional part of an object is also allowed i'll tell you what you are taking you're you're saying take 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 but what we have to take you'll have that doubt right i'll tell you so basically simple it is also one of the application of the greedy programming okay here knapsack is nothing but it is a bag okay it is a bag and it basically has some capacity some 10 kgs 20 kgs 30 kgs some capacity it will have okay and you will have some objects with you let's say you have a bag which is of uh, 10 kgs weight and you have some objects with you one object is let's say we you have some apples which are 2 kgs we have some oranges which are 3 kgs like that you have some objects you have to fit in all these objects into the 10 kgs bag so that you will have the maximum profit again okay you have to take that 10 kgs bag and sell it somewhere you have to pack your bag in such a way that you will have maximum profit so which items you have to pick and which items you should not pick that is what you have to decide okay so it is application of greedy programming and knapsack is nothing but it is a bag and it has some capacity and as i said this is just knapsack problem this is not zero by one knapsack problem so fractions are also allowed that means you have two two kgs of oranges okay but you are not able to accommodate all those two kgs then you can take it one kg or half kg of the oranges and you can fill the bag got it but in zero by one knapsack problem that is not allowed you have to either take entire two kilograms of oranges or you have to leave them got it this is how the uh, knapsack problem works in greedy method okay now uh, let's understand this with an example problem it will be very clear for you once we are done with this example problem don't worry about it okay so we have some objects we have seven objects one two three four five six seven and they have some profits associated they have some weights associated okay so in the previous problem in the job sequencing problem what we did we just went and picked the jobs which are having highest profit right but here you cannot go ahead and just pick the jobs or the objects which are having highest profit you will also have to consider something which is called as the weight because there is some capacity for your knapsack there is some capacity for your bag okay so for this example point of view let us assume that uh, your knapsack's capacity is 15 units whatever it is it could be grams kilograms pounds lbs whatever it is okay 15 in units is the capacity now you have to accommodate all these seven objects into this 15 units so that you get maximum profit and you can leave some also if you are not able to accommodate all of these you can just leave some behind okay so since we are having we have to consider two things the profit and also the weight we have to calculate the profit by weight ratio first okay let's calculate that so how do you do that very simple profit by weight here itself it says so what is the profit here 10 and what is the weight here 2 so 10 by 2 how much you will get 5 okay 5 by 3 how much you will get 1.3 15 by 5 3 7 by 7 1 6 by 1 6 18 by 4 uh, 4.5 you will get 3 by 1 is 3 now you got the profit by weight ratio now you have to deal with these ratios okay so yeah this is your table right how many objects we have we have seven objects so first let's write object 1 object 2 object 3 4 5 6 seven we have seven objects in total okay now let us decide whether we are taking each of these objects or we are leaving them or what fraction we are taking we are taking the entire object 
all those things let us decide now first in the previous problem what we did we started with the things which are having highest profit now you have to start with the thing or with the object which is having the highest profit by weight ratio because here we have something which is called as the capacity of the bank okay we have to keep this also in the mind so among all these objects which object is having the highest profit by weight ratio six right object i mean object five is having it object five is having the highest ratio with six so and what is the weight associated only one unit we have one unit available right so you can just go and write one over here why because we are taking the entire object 5 okay and what is your updated weight now 15 is your original weight now your updated weight is 14 okay clear next next object with highest ratio is what the object 1 it is having the ratio as 5 okay and what is the weight associated to 2 so you can accommodate 2 in 14 right so you can take this also the entire whole object you can take that means you can write 1 here also okay so 14 minus 2 which is 12 you will get okay next next uh, what is having so this is done this is done this is done this is done next which is the next highest profit by weight ratio this 4.5 4.5 what is the weight associated with 4.5 4 okay 4 means 4 you can accommodate 4 in 12 or not you can accommodate so you can do 12 minus 4 you will get 8 so you can take the entire portion of it you will write 1 why am i writing 1 because we are taking the entire portion okay you are not taking half you are not taking one fourth you are taking the entire portion so that is why i am writing one wherever we are taking the entire portions we i am writing it as one okay next next this 4.5 is also done next highest ratio is this one uh three we have this three and we have this three right so let's go ahead and um, first go with uh like let's go with the object three first so 8 minus what is the weight associated 5 so 8 minus 5 is 3 so you have you, you have taken the entire part of it right so you will write it as 1 next this is done profit by weight ratio and next you have this one okay so this is also 3 units but what is the weight associated only 1 so 3 minus 1 which is 2 so since you took the entire portion portion of this object you can write 1 over here. Now next what is remaining this 1.3. This 5 is also done. Everything is done. This 1.3 and 1. These two objects only are remaining. now, Right. So among these two objects 1.3 is obviously higher. But see how many units of weight it needs. It needs 3 units. But how many you have available. Only 2 units you have. That means from these 3 units you are taking only 2. So 2 third which means it is 2 third. So here you will write it as two third. You're taking two thirds amount of this object too because you don't have weight. Okay. And this would be zero because you don't, the weight is done. Two minus two is equal to zero. Weight is done. You don't have any more weight. So you cannot take object four anymore. So it would be zero. You cannot take it. Okay. Now let's calculate the profit. Okay. So now how do you calculate the total profit? One first object you have took it entirely so 1 into what is the profit associated with it 10 plus second object you took only two third of the object because the weight was not sufficient so two third times what is the profit associated with it 5 plus third object you took the entire object so 1 into profit is 15 plus fourth object you did not take it at all so 0 into what is the profit 7 plus fifth object you took the entire object so one into what is the profit six plus seventh object wait fifth object the profit is six sixth object yeah sixth object uh, the profit is 18 plus seventh object also you took full the profit is three so now if you do this calculation you will get 10 plus two thirds times five you will get 10 by 3 which is 3.33 3 
let's assume and uh, wait 10 by 3 is it 3.33 yeah okay next you will do 1 times 15 is 15 plus 0 times 7 is 0 6 18 plus 3 how much you will get total 13 23 28 34 37 37 55 you will get okay 55 points something you will get the profit as the total profit as got it so this is how you solve um this kind of problem i mean the knapsack problem since it is not a zero by one knapsack problem you can consider taking the entire weight or i mean the entire object or a portion of the object also but if it is a zero by one knapsack problem you will have a rule a mandatory rule wherein you have to take the entire object or you will have to drop the entire object okay so yeah this is all about this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end i hope you understood so if you still have any doubts let me know in the comment section and if you have any feedback for me also let me know in the comment section thanks for watching the video till the end let's catch up soon in the next coming video with another topic thank you